<laughs> Somebody did. Well, so uh, it should, one it one should, one it should be because I put the new ones in. Did they take our orders already? No. Oh. oh, okay. Um, a lady, when I was in the bathroom, I heard a lady getting drink orders. From, yeah. There were only two people in here. Oh, okay. Uh, no, we, because we had the last ones were Jeannie and and then the other ones were... Um, Something had to happen. But what I mean is, we didn't get a new Yes, oh, I got it. Oh, and but what I meant was, had, so we just uh, add the ones that she sent. Between 20 and 25, two You know what I mean? Well, there might be a time lag, is what I've just heard. There's probably a time lag in there. All right, go on. Uh, oh, they're out there. They're not members of this. No, they're not members. They're just. Right down the street from the south. They were just looking well, out. Connie thought it was out. Uh, it's not that it's not down the street. It's uh, well, that's all the way down the street. It's, it's on the same, same street. street. That's right. It's on the same street. <laughs> street. <laughs> I've been telling you it's the same street, so it's oh, down the street. That's yeah. right. We've done many people. I remember when they built that. <laughs> Say that's when my father was building houses on a street right there called uh, View. May I look at the video? Dan, I got a run. You want me to come back? Can I look at the camera? I didn't want to see, but I didn't know. Wayne. Uh, we, uh, we have, uh, the first thing we must recognize is our new member, who is Connie Seho, a name I cannot realize. Connie, welcome you. Connie. Woo. Now, the last time I saw Connie Seho, she was running around the backyard. She was running around the backyard. Of a friend of mine, and we were pouring his patio. And this is about, let's see, uh, uh, 50 years ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't even looked at it. Why do they call it a patio? Why do they name it for patio? Why do they call it a patio? I don't know. Uh, they used to have a name called a veranda. I like veranda. veranda. Uh, but I don't, I don't know oh, what I, that is. I knew her. <laughs> well, you knew all the ladies in Northern Kentucky. So, I want to recognize Ms. Zaho and thank her for joining us. Do you have anything that you would like to contribute verbally to the meeting before we start our rituals? No, let's just go for the rituals. So, we will uh, we'll, uh, open with a short prayer conducted by probably Dan. I'll, I'll do a prayer. <laughs> we'll do our Optimus Creed and Pledge of Allegiance. And then I'll read some stuff that's kind of important, and then we'll eat lunch, and then we'll get each other a Dear Lord, we thank you for this day, we thank you for this meeting of the Optimist Club. Dear Lord, we ask that you bless this meeting today, bless, bless the work that we do, and bless, bless us as we go forth and, uh, and proclaim your word. Dear Lord, we ask that you be with us today, guide us and protect us. And we ask that you bless this food that will be to the nourishment of our bodies and our bodies to your service. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. yourself. Be so strong. And nothing is your season of life. happiness and prosperity to every person you meet. May we all your friends feel for their standing in them. And the Lord is on the side of everything and make your optimism come true. To thank you only the best. To work only for the best and to respect only the best. To be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own. To forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future. To wear a cheerful countenance at all times and get out of the and reach a dreamy smile. You have so much time to be open with yourself that you have no time to criticize others. To be too large to worry, to be noble for anger. Too strong for fear, and too high to permit the presence of trouble. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Play ball. Well, we got some upcoming events coming here. Detective Kyle Wallace, Kenton County Police Department. What this detective does is rather interesting. Uh, I, I'm sure most of you saw that show that was on TV some years ago, The Catch a Predator. The Catch a Predator. Yeah. 
and they would use adults to uh, <coughs> play the part of either young boys or young, and I mean very young girls, 12, 13, and set up a date for a grown man, and I mean a grown man in his 30s or 40s or 50s or 60s to come over and pay a visit. Of course, they would walk in and the girl, there was no girl, but they would get a girl to just say, I'm in the shower, can you wait a minute? He would come in and sit down and, uh, and then comes his camera crew. And it says goose was cooked. Hell yeah. And then and then he'd say, I got you know, I gotta get out of here. So he'd leave and the whole place is surrounded by police. Well that's what that's what the detective Wallace does. Is this a Kenton County cop? Uh Kenton County police, yes. Yeah, we had we had a Kenton County cop when I was county commissioner who did that. That's how this thing got. And uh, he caught a bunch of them. Oh, a bunch of bad guys. Yeah. They would drive from hundreds of miles. Hundreds of miles, yeah. For a thirteen year old girl. That was that was a Kenton County cop. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> one, one guy on this to catch a predator had come to see a young boy. Okay, if that ain't weird enough, it gets weirder. He gets out of the car, he had his little boy with him. Oh no. So they didn't really they didn't know exactly what to do with that, so they separated the two and and then they had a some lady come and get the little boy and take him away. They didn't go through the whole thing. Uh, he brought some tapes for the boy to watch, and it was uh, the the epitome of disgusting. Uh, that's what that's what uh, Kyle Wallace does. Uh, it, it's for he works for the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. Of course, these days everything is an acronym. It's I C A C. He will be here uh, next week. Okay, next week. May 29th, Children's Home for the Northern Kentucky. Another acronym that you can't really pronounce because there's no vowels. C-H-N-K. Well, I guess you have to insert some vowels. Chunk. Chink. <laughs> Charlene Ferrier, C-H-N-K board member, will be talking about the Children's Home of Northern Kentucky. Now, we've also done some things with the Homeward Bound. Thank you. And... For those of us who are unfamiliar, the Homeward Bound is for kids that are in trouble now. And they, and this is kids from 11 to, I think, 18. And they, uh, they give them a place to live. And we have already done some drives to get some hygiene, Dennis. hygiene items, uh, items, hygiene items for those kids because, uh, a lot of the, all the staple foods can be bought with uh, government food stamps. But you can't buy those with food stamps, uh, the hygiene items. So we got some uh, shampoo, body soap, antiperspirant, and things like that. And uh, I'm going to probably be stopping by there this week. She was supposed to give me some forms for background checks that one of the things they also said they needed just some time, to, some people to spend some time with these kids to uh, just talk to them, play cards. I'm not a great card player, but you probably play checkers, I guess. Uh, so she's supposed to be getting me the, the forms to fill out. And of course, uh, you just about have to do that anytime you're working with children nowadays. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you why. Conducting that meeting, the presidential election, November fifth. Uh, the speaker series candidates will be Democrats and Republican, Republicans. Traditionally, uh, the Democrats don't make a uh, big showing at our invitation to speak, but we still invite them. I mean, we want to hear what they say, just like I want to read Dot's copy to <laughs> And Scout Pack 708. Um, 
Project Best Learning C-SPAN student cam volunteers requested and needed. Although I don't know what the volunteers will redo, be doing, I think uh, Linda is in charge, Linda Dietz is in charge of that. No, no, no I am. Oh, you are, okay. And, uh, Dan. And, and so is Dan. And Dan. Uh, I think Susan Cook could be on board with that too because she's got access to the schools. Uh, what for uh, the business cards and uh, stuff? So it will be about 100 or 250 which is kind of basically what we're going to want as our minimum, really. So uh, any projects, like one way or another, I'm going to raise the $1,000 to cover the art and box project. And anything else over and above. Uh -huh.